Hello, welcome to Physician Spotlights. I'm your host, Dr. David Evans. Physician Spotlights is a forum for our outstanding physicians in the field of nutrition to discuss important topics and ideas, and with the help of Aspen, we are bringing these videos to you. Our guest today is Dr. Dr. Tommy Setterholm. Dr. Setterholm is Professor of Geriatric Medicine in Uppsala and Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, He's been a key leader in the ESPEN Executive Committee and in the nutrition community for many years. Dr. Setterholm, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Nice to be here. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in nutrition and what brought you into the field. Well, as a young doctor, I I met some older colleagues that that were um, trying to make me interested in the catabolic conditions of some of our patients. I was in internal medicine at that time, and many of our patients were very thin. And it was obvious that they they were undernourished, but we did not really realize the problems that were connected to that. So actually, some of my older colleagues, uh, they told me to get interested in it. And I, I thought it was extremely interesting when I when I started to, to look into it. And now, like 40 years later, I'm, I'm truly happy for that. Wonderful. What's your proudest accomplishment in that long career? Well, that's an interesting question because you always have new tasks in front of you. Perhaps, well, of course, one of the more important things that we have done recently within the com- within the nutritional community is to provide these GLIM criteria, which is the, the global leadership initiative on malnutrition, where we provide uh, a global consensus on, on how to diagnose malnutrition. And perhaps that could be one of uh, at least one of my prouder accomplishments. Uh, yeah. Great, thank you. Uh, what do you see the future of nutrition like looking like? What, what do you think we're going to be doing differently in the future? Or what's going to change? I think nutrition has a good future because it is becoming more and more clear for people that we cannot only direct our attention to the organ-specific problems of our patient. We also need to look a little little beyond the box and to realize that many of our, uh, the organ-specific diseases also have systemic uh, consequences like malnutrition which is one and I think the recognition of that it will provide uh, a good future and when we realize that we will also as physicians widen our well uh, how we collaborate with our um, other uh, professionals in, in our vicinity like dietitians physiotherapists and so I, I think that's where we have the future, more collaboration with other health professionals. Great. How have nutritional societies and organizations such as ESPEN and ASPEN contributed to your career? I think they have contributed very much by providing this context where you can discuss. Because, uh, well, all of us, we need the specific contexts to, to discuss and to, uh, uh, to, to exchange thoughts and exchange. So I think, well, th- that, that is where you kind of get your fuel for providing even better in your clinical practice. So, so you, you, you only get energy by being part of uh, scientific community as Aspen is and as Aspen is for me. So. Wonderful. Well, I'd like to thank Dr. Setterholm for joining us today. Uh, I would also like to thank Aspen for their partnership putting together this forum of videos. Um, have a great day and we'll see you next month with another issue of these videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.